Hail, thou that art highly favored, the Lord is with thee. So Mary didn't know that she was having a baby. So Mary um, was sitting on stairs and then Heavenly Father told Mary that she was going to have a baby. And so Joseph, he was going to Bethlehem with his wife, Mary, and she was pregnant with Jesus. They, they rode, rode a camel. A, they rode a boat? Well, maybe. Yeah. Maybe it was a camel. Maybe it was a horse. They ride it on a donkey. And when they got there, all the inns were full because tons of people were going to all these cities and, you know, there's lots of road traffic. There was no room in the inn, though. Um, they said all our rooms are full, but there's a stable you guys could sleep in. And that's where she had Jesus. Babies are normally born in the hospital. And he was not born in a hospital, he was born in a major. It's the place where animals live. There were sh sheep, camels, there's zebras and horses and cows and all those things. I don't think it'd be fun. It probably wouldn't be very clean. There would probably be lots and lots of bugs. Mm, I don't think it would be very comfy. It was made out of sticks and a huge star was above it to tell people to follow it and to go under it. That's where Jesus would be born. So the shepherds, they were out, you know, watching their sheep to make sure no wolves came and ate them. And um, an angel came down to them and they were all scared because imagine if you were in a field and some like a bright white light and there's like a person floating down towards you. I imagine it would be pretty like, surprising. The angel told them to not be afraid. Fear not. And told him that Jesus is going to be born. And so he wanted him to go see him. So why is it as uh, other people came to visit him? Why is mom brand him three gifts? Gold, mirth, and freaking strength. Gold treat him, sense and mirth. He's special. And so it was a special day on that day. He's special because he's the king and he's very good. He made it so that we could repent and go to heaven again. And that he sacrificed, since he sacrificed uh, his life for us to come down on earth, I feel like that he really loves all of us. And like, it's just amazing that he did that. Welcome back for another lesson from the Bible with me, Ate Isha. And me, Bojo! We're so excited because today's lesson is extra special. So let's get started with a prayer. Yes. Can you pray for us, Ponyo? Sure, Ate Isha. Friends, let us close our eyes and bow our heads. Dear Jesus, we are so grateful for you today and every day. Thank you, God, for giving your Son, Jesus Christ, to the world to save us and show what love really is all about. We are so excited to learn more about you today. So we ask that you help us understand your word today. Thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen! How about you, Ponyo? Why do you think it is so important that Jesus was born? Hi! Um, it's so important because we are in need of Savior. We are doomed because of the great sins we have. And I think Jesus is the only one who can rescue and save us, Atisha. 
Well, that's exactly right, Ponyo. You know what? There's really no one besides Jesus who can save us. That's why it is so important that we should always remind ourselves and be grateful that Jesus was born. How about you kids? Why do you think it is so important that Jesus was born? You can write your answers in the comment section below. We would love to hear your answers too. And for us to really understand how God changed everything when He sent His Son Jesus Christ to the world, let's watch this video! God's Story Jesus is Born So part of God's story is about how He sent His Son Jesus to be born. And it goes like this. Remember when God created a perfect garden? He also created a perfect family, Adam and Eve, to live in the garden with Him forever. All they had to do was trust God. Then they would live with him forever in a perfect world where nothing bad happened, ever. Unfortunately, Adam and Eve stopped trusting God, so they disobeyed him. That's when all the wrong things in the world began. The worst part was they were separated from God because God is perfect and can't be around anything wrong. But God came up with a plan to rescue us from all the wrong things in the world. That way, he could be close to us again. For hundreds of years, God planned this rescue. He built a special family for the rescuer to be born into. He told prophets how to recognize the rescuer when he came. Prophets hear from God and then share it. God's family was so excited. And finally, it was time. God was ready to send his very own son, Jesus, to be with us on earth. Of course, he could have sent Jesus as a warrior or a superhero, but he didn't. He sent him the same way we all get here, as a baby. Now, that might not sound strange at first, but to a young woman named Mary, it was a huge surprise. God actually sent an angel to tell her that she was going to have a baby named Jesus. Mary was terrified, but she said, I serve the Lord. May it happen to me just as you said it would. Basically, Mary wanted what God wanted. Anyway, the news about Mary's baby also came as a big surprise to a man named Joseph. Mary was going to be his wife, and now she was going to have a baby. But Joseph wasn't the father. So an angel came to him in a dream. He said, Don't be afraid to take Mary home to be your wife. She will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus, for he will save his people from their sins. After hearing that, Joseph obeyed. A bit later, the king told people to go to their hometown to be counted. That was something that happened every once in a while. Joseph was from a little town called Bethlehem, so that's where he and Mary went. When they got there, Mary and Joseph couldn't find a place to stay. With nowhere else to go, they spent the night in a place where animals were kept. And that very night, Jesus was born. Mary laid him in a manger, which is where animals eat. Here was the king of heaven, the perfect rescuer, born with animals and sleeping in a dirty feeding dish because nobody would make room for him. Kids, have you ever felt like nobody wanted you around? Well, that quiet, lonely moment was the moment God's whole family had been waiting for. So God did something special. He sent angels to some shepherds who were taking care of their sheep nearby. The angels said, Today, your Savior is born in the city of David. He is Christ the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. The shepherds went to find Jesus right away. They told others the news. The rescuer is here, and he is sleeping in a manger. Everybody who heard their story was amazed. This is what they had been waiting for. It just happened in a way that wasn't expected. Even though people had stopped trusting God, He loved them and us. He wants to be with us so much that He sent His very own Son to earth to live as a man. In fact, one of the names God called Jesus was Emmanuel, which means God with us. Through this tiny baby, God was close to His people again. And that's the story of when Jesus was born. But here's a quick version of what happened after Jesus was born. A star appeared in the sky. Magi followed it and worshipped Jesus. Jesus grew up. He never did anything wrong. He showed us what it looks like to follow God and love like God. 
then he took the punishment for everything we've done wrong. Now we can all be close to God again. And that's a part of God's story. And that's the greatest gift the world has ever received. Wow! That's the greatest story I ever heard of, Atisha. I also want to say sorry to Jesus because before, I only look forward to receiving gifts and mga pamaska every Christmas. That I tend to forget what Jesus has done for me. I'm really sorry, Jesus, but now I will always remember that He is the greatest gift I have ever received. I'm so grateful for Him. That's right. Though it's okay that we give gifts or we receive gifts for Christmas, but we should always remind ourselves that that's not what matters. The most important and the greatest gift we could ever receive is... Jesus! So kids, if you know someone who still don't have Jesus in their hearts, this is a good time to share the love of Jesus to them. And I think it's also a good time to sing and dance. So friends, get up on your feet and we will dance for Jesus! from heaven to a manger The hope of the world's alive for all mankind All of the earth rejoice It's Christmas time So look up your voice and sing out Today, kids, it is found in the book of John, chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world 
that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life yeah! friends i think you got it now you can say it with us john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave his one and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life good job friends god showed his love by giving us his son jesus christ and i'm going to show god's love to you right now atisha by giving you something wow is this for me yes ate open it atisha open it wow it's a bookmark in my favorite color yellow for my favorite book the bible ponyo tell me why do you give hmm i give because god gave me jesus that's a great answer ponyo thanks for the bookmark you're welcome atisha panda bay and friends we will say goodbye for now but we will see you again next Sunday at 4 p.m. Correct! We hope that you learned a lot from today's story. Don't forget to share His love, okay? And let us tell the world that Jesus was born! Hooray! Jesus loves you! Paalam!